Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 53, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We got Chrono back. We saved him using the time egg provided by the guru at the end of time. And how many times can we fit time into the same sentence? Yeah, well, I don't know. We'll see in due time. Um, so we got Chrono back. We took care of, we, we started our uh, run through of all the different side quests, the optional side quests that are available, starting with Ayla's side quest. I'm going to put air quotes around that. Because your quest is to go back to the village and pick up ruby armor. Which, if this is your first run through of the game, is about as good as you're going to get. Um, and when you get better, you might want to keep it because of what we're about to do next. We're getting ready to start Lucas' side quest. Where, you remember when we talked to her at the end of the time, she mentioned one of the things that... Uh, Gaspar had seen was something about the power of the sun. So we're going to go head over to the sun temple. And let's see what we got here. Oh, actually, you know what we're going to do? Before we go trying to pick a fight with anything, let's go ahead and save. Because that would epically suck if uh, something bad happened and we lost progress. Uh, okay. Now, this is a fun little, uh, battle here. What I want her to do is I want her to charm the main one while we just attack the flames. One of those flames is the right one. Yeah, and that's why you don't want to actually attack the main guy, because you do anything to him, and he does that. Okay, good. So that one in the top right. Bam. And I think I need to get Ayla on healing duty. Combo. Guess who's lowest? Chrono's lowest. There we go. And sooner or later, he's actually got... Oh, don't got it. Nope, that's a miss. So let's try that. It's not the top one. Oof. Gotta get Chrono's health back up. Alright, let's do Chrono next. And let's try that one. Top left. Bottom left. There we go. Bottom left. Just in time. Oh, for him to shuffle it around again. Ah, you loser. Alright, let's try that one again. What are the odds? Nope. <sighs> let's try that one. Should have brought more healers with me. Yeah. Try that one. Nope. Oh, it's going to be the last one, isn't it? Oh, no. Top left. Okay. <laughs> Just in time. Of course. Yeah, I definitely should have brought a couple more healers with me. All right. Um... Start at the top. Nope. Just remember, we're, we're taking just a fraction of the damage. Nope. Because this is all fire damage. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's try to get everybody back up a little bit close. Ooh, yikes. That was nearly bad. And let's get our one person tossing out healing stuff to get back up to health. Alright, let's start with the right one. Nope. 
Next. There we go. Oh yeah. Nope. All right. Uh, let's go. Raise. Item. Um. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, hi. Oh, no, not the ether. I want the potion. There we go. Get her back up to full health or close enough to it. Doggone it. I lost track. What am I working on? I'm working on the flames. Alright, let's get a kiss out. Ah, oh, this is the part that I hate. It's guessing. Nope. And did that do her in? Nope, not yet. Okay. So we got time to toss a kiss that way. And start this over again. <sighs> now you know why I waited until we got to the next episode. Oh, beautiful. Attack. Hurry up. Do it quick while we know. Oh, don't finish off Luca. Alright. Kiss. Attack. I got it. Uh huh. Yeah. Is it back at the top again? How lucky can I be? Oh, I can be that lucky. Okay. <laughs> Target in my healer. Well, that's a losing proposition. Uh, the son of son is losing his light. That means we should be near the end of this battle. There we go. Goodness. Yeah, so uh, that is a lot of XP. Learn Inferno, dual tech. Learn Blaze Kick, dual tech. Learn Gatling Kick, triple tech. Sweet, I forgot that I hadn't uh, done their combos yet. That's a big rock. This is the ancient sunstone. It looks like it's been drained of all its energy. We could probably recharge it with sunlight, but that would take eons. Tamed Moonstone. Well, gee, if only we had a time machine that could bring us through all the eons. Alright, first things first. Let's go, um... Let's go this way, and... Oh. Yeah. We're gonna want to be... Over here. And we're going to go back to prehistory. This should be where the Sun Palace is in this time frame. Or the Sun Shrine, sorry. Oh, warm. Good sun. Place the Moonstone here? Yep. No change yet. Thank you. We just put it down. All right. Let us get in our handy dandy time machine. Um, now that I don't need a charm, let me get Magus back in there too. Can I use a shelter in here? No, I can't. Interesting. Okay. 
Oh, wrong button. There we go. All right, and off to the future. Back into the Sun Shrine, and... Huh. The Moonstone is gone. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Seems it's been gone for roughly 1,300 years. Let's pay a visit to the present. Oh, really? Uh, hmm. Alright. Now... Because I did a little research ahead of time. I do know that we actually want to go to the Middle Ages first. Because that should get us a power tab around here somewhere. There we go. Or sorry, a strength capsule. Alright, so it's there. It's charging. Now, let's go to the present, which was where it went missing or something. It hadn't been gone for long. We'll search nearby. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, oh, we've already been there. Nothing's likely to have changed there. There is our ominous palace. Oh, and we can also go back to the fair. Um, you can actually earn clones of all the characters by going to the fair, grinding out the silver points, and playing the games over at Beckler's Lab. You can get clones of everybody, and it will go to their home. Um, which varies greatly depending on who it is. Well, that doesn't look suspicious, now does it? All right. You're interested in the Moonstone? A passing young traveler left it here. By all means, take it. It seems to be important to you folks. Oh yeah, I forgot. Because we did the uh, the whole beef jerky thing to make him uh, a generous mayor instead of the greedy he is when you first meet him. Um, that shortens this quest. So you can do all that jerky stuff early when you got the chance or now and uh, because he won't give you the stone until... Uh, you, you do the little thing to turn him from a greedy little something-something into the generous guy that he is now. Help the needy, share and share alike. Thinking about making that the town motto. Here you are. Alright, so now that we got that squared away, let's head back to the palace and put the stone back. Oh, and we'll... Well, that's different. Is that different? Yeah, that's different. No, that's something else entirely. What could that be? A different quest. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get to that one. Maybe not this episode, but we will definitely get to that one. In fairly short order. Place the moonstone here. Yep. Alright, now let's go back. Back to the future. Dun dun dun. Okay. There we go. Amazing. With energy like this, I should be able to make a really powerful weapon. Let's take it back to my house. First, we'll extract the sunstone's energy and convert it to a more manageable form. Then we'll just vacuum pack it into a cartridge. Yada, yada, yada. Techity tech. Blah, blah, blah. Video game logic and physics. And it's finished. Oh, 
obtained wonder shot. Sometimes I amaze myself. Take a look at this, Luca. I borrowed a bit of the sunstone to create something nifty of my own. Obtained sunglasses. All right. So now we get all sorts of fun stuff. Um. All right. So here's the thing. I know this next one is going to take a little while. Let's um change up the party. Although first, before I forget, we went through all that trouble to get the wonder shot. So the shockwave is an attack of 110 and it may inflict confuse. This is an attack of 250. Playtime determines damage? Oh, that must have been... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm thinking of something different. Um, so, basically, the the digit at the end of whatever the playtime counter is determines how much damage it does. So, it could do a lot or it could do a little, just depending on, you know, what minute it is. I'm going to leave that one alone. And... The sunglasses boosts damage. Honestly, though, um, we're doing okay on the damage department. Nobody's got anything that I really want to give up in place of that for now. So we'll, um, we'll go ahead and leave that as it is. But we are going to switch up the party. And just on pure principle. Okay. <laughs> So there all that is. Let's go ahead and get things set up for the next little side quest because I've only got a couple of minutes and that reminds me. Uh, yeah, everybody's health and whatnot is looking a little slender. So let's go to Chrono's house. Hi, Mom. I want you to meet the scary man. Oh, are you another one of Chrono's friends? <laughs> Cat got your tongue. No need to be shy, dear. All right, let's go ahead and take care of the hit points and magic points issue. All right, now let's get back into the epoch. And... Oh, east. Oh, that's right. Uh, I need to go to one of the continents that we passed over earlier. I really do need to get a list of um, a, a copy of all the maps of all the the land masses at each time frame because it does seem to vary quite a bit based on a lot of different things. All right. Um, tr -tr -tr -tr. Oh, that's right. There's a couple of sealed chests that we weren't able to get. Let me open up a new some notes. Alright, that is the non-upgradable, there's the sealed doors, those are the upgradable. Alright, there are three sealed upgradable chests in the Northern Ruins, which you can reach after completing Frog's side quest. Okay, so we gotta do Frog's quest first. Alright, so we'll do that next. And by next, I mean... Wrong button. All right, and by next, I mean next episode. Oh, man. Maybe I need to make myself a cup of coffee. All right, thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursday nights at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow in Twitch. I wouldn't bother about Mixer because I'm phasing that out by the end of the month. And you'll get notified when I go live. And no matter what, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. And YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.